I, I do get some interesting responses when I tell people I'm an organist. I, I, I was just hooked from the beginning. It was a sound just entirely different than anything I had experienced. I was a freshman in college when I had my first organ lesson. Uh, I was studying at Baylor University uh, as a math major and uh, heard this world famous organist playing a uh, recital and uh, it made me want to take organ lessons. I had played piano all my life um, and took, took organ lessons that spring semester of my freshman year and had so much fun. I changed majors and, uh, and kept at it. A large instrument like this. Most people are just, are just fascinated by it. It's harder to, to encourage people to actually, um, to actually study it, to actually uh, take those really first hard steps at, at learning a new instrument like learning a foreign language or, or anything. It, it's just really hard right at first. Um, but there's an absolute fascination for most people from the beginning. I've always thought it's, it's really important uh, for musicians to, to teach. And I consider that really the core of, of what I do. This is my third year studying with Dr. Bacon, and I love it. I can ask for a better professor to be studying with. He's really knowledgeable about what um, he teaches, and he's also really excited about what he's teaching. So it's a really good experience because he passes that excitement on to us. It's always fun to come to lessons, and I would love to continue studying with him. Um, I, I think it's a lot of fun teaching in, in music, theater, and dance. Being a music major is, is really challenging. There are a lot of hours of practice. And even though I had played a lot, of, a lot of piano growing up, I hadn't practiced four or five hours a day. But there are moments just playing recitals where, where it's not just playing Bach, where it's not just um, the piece that I've practiced for however many hours I don't want to think about, but where I do feel like I'm connecting with people, um, connecting with an audience in, in a unique way. I mean, it's always a thrill to go somewhere and play a fantastic, huge organ. I mean, that, that's fun. It's fun in, in the way it's fun to drive a really fast car or do something you've never done before. But um, I think the, the deeper experiences playing for me um, are, are the simple ones in, in my own church. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm privileged to play a lot of recitals now. Um, it's, it's always enjoyable to do that. And uh, it's, it's really neat to think that people would come out and, and spend an hour or two listening to you uh, play Bach, and, and um, it's uh, it's a humbling experience sometimes. I can still remember that first organ recital I heard. Uh, even when I've played uh, played organ at the weddings of friends, for example, um, or at funerals, when I played for my grandmother's funeral. Um, you think that, um, well, I, I just, I remember at those times that, that what I do just isn't uh, another job, but, but a, a really special way of, of connecting with, with people at, at very important moments of their life.